Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so in a previous video, I showed you how to make this. Now this is a flamethrower glove made using only a lighter. So to make it work, you just pull out the gas stopper right here and then just click the sparker right here and then it'll light up. But today we're gonna to be modifying this glove to make it shoot much bigger flames. And also as an added bonus, it'll be able to freeze things with a simple pull of a finger. So this glove will be able to be both Iceman and Pyro. Now the inspiration for this mod comes from a lighter hack done by a great YouTuber, it's called Greek Gadget Guru, I'm sure you guys have heard of him. So he made a great video that shows you how to release more fuel quickly out of cheap disposable lighters. Um, so I'll link his video down below, definitely go check that out. But first, here's a recap on how to make this. So once you have the glove made, um, here's how to modify it. What you're gonna need for this mod is a lighter and some butane. Let's check it out.
right guys, so you should be left with this modified lighter. Basically we just took out the, uh, the tubing that restricts the fluid. Um, so now we can get a lot more butane at one time. Again, I went through that kind of fast. So if you want to see the full tutorial, go check out Greek Gadget Guru's video on it. But um, yeah, now we have this cell of pressurized fuel that can be released very quickly. And we're actually gonna go ahead and replace that with this one right here. And if you wanted, you could just do the modification with the one that's already built in. Um, but I kind of like the red more. So uh, I'm gonna switch this one out for this one. Alright guys, so I just finished up hooking everything up. We've got the lighter hooked up to the burner and uh, also got a string attached to the lighter so I can actually control it with my finger this time. Um, and honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite inventions yet just because like look how small this is. Like this is tiny. Everything you need is just in this glove. And when you see how big the flame is just for this tiny glove, it's just so cool. But um, believe it or not, this glove's actually got another feature. It doesn't have to just be a flamethrower. It can also shoot ice. So because there's butane in this lighter, um, that's actually under compression. Um, so when it shoots out, it wants to rapidly expand. Um, and that basically just sucks a lot of heat out of anything it touches. So I have a leaf right here. And uh, let's see what this does if I just shoot it at it. It even breaks. It's just that brittle. So I'm actually very similar to liquid nitrogen, um, except obviously not as cold. And best of all, it's super easy to refill. So all you have to do is just pull out this tube, grab your butane, pull down this lever, and just fill her up. And there you go. Ready to go. All right, guys, and now for the flamethrower. In my previous video, you guys wanted the flame from this mini thing to be a lot bigger. So that's exactly what I did. Check this out. What you do is you start off just with a little bit of gas just to get it ignited. And then we still have the barbecue igniter on the side here. So just click this on. And there we go, we've got our mini flame. And now, we just let loose. Did you guys see that? Is that flame big enough for you guys? So there you go guys, I hope you like this, but honestly just such a cool project. Um, I love how just how small it is and um, just all the functionality it has. As you guys know, I love spy gadgets, so anything that's small that has a really big bite, I love it. And um, hopefully you guys like it too. But uh, if you are gonna make this, remember to be safe when using it uh, because it can be pretty dangerous. But uh, if you did like it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, click that subscribe button also to be notified when I upload new videos. And uh, if you have any ideas of your own that you want to see me make, uh, drop them in the comments down below. Um, I always love reading them. So um, that's pretty much all I've got for today, guys. So I will catch you in the next video.